Hello, I am Crowbarazar, filling in for Q-Dragon, and this is Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story this week comes from the world of medicine. Researchers from Texas may have developed a reliable artificial heart. This could extend the lives of many people with severe heart conditions and eliminate the complications involved with transplants. The device itself is a combination of two VAD pump devices that are already in use to assist blood flow. Combining multiple pumps allows for the replacement of the entire heart, with one side effect. Because the device provides a steady flow of blood, the person will appear to have no heartbeat. The researchers say there's more development to do, but they've had many successful tests with cows and one very promising human trial. Our next story comes from the world of chemistry. Two research teams at MIT have begun development on what they are calling an artificial leaf. The idea behind this device is to convert solar energy into a storable form namely hydrogen and oxygen gas in a fuel cell. Although still in the very early stages of development, the teams have already each designed a unique prototype for oxygen formation. This part of the artificial leaf is essentially a catalyst-coated solar panel in water. The electrons produced from the solar panel work with the catalyst to split the water into oxygen gas and hydrogen ions. The teams plan to refine the device while working on the hydrogen-producing component. Once completed, the artificial leaf will have a number of applications in power generation, including use in vehicles and providing portable energy to remote areas. And from the world of genetics, scientists at the University of Toronto are studying the lifespan of yeast and say their findings may be applicable to humans. No matter what the species, a cell doesn't use all of its DNA. The unexpressed genes are stored along the nucleus of a cell. When the proteins that anchor the unused genes to the nucleus malfunction, it can sometimes lead to a shorter lifespan in yeast. The scientists were able to correct this, thus returning normal function, and think the same mechanism could be responsible for premature aging in humans. If they are able to develop a treatment based on this, it could also be applied to regular aging. Our final story comes from the world of neuroscience. Engineers from the University of Michigan have designed a new kind of brain implant that is less invasive. The device is called a BioVolt and it simply sits under the skin and doesn't even penetrate the cortex. It's designed to pick up signals in the brain and transmit them to a computer, where they can be filtered, interpreted, and eventually control devices. One power-saving innovation of the BioVolt is the use of the skin to conduct signals to and from the device. This, of course, has numerous applications, including the potential for controlling once paralyzed or lost limbs. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Brainstorm. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description below.